I get bored easily, so I, I switch area pretty regularly, but my major area of focus at the moment is on looking at uh, designing and creating structure, molecular structures that can bind specifically to anions, so negatively charged molecules or ions. So we're looking at designing molecules that can sense uh, the presence of different anions very selectively. So we might look at a sulfate ion, for example, and be able to selectively determine whether that's present when other anions are present in a solution as well. Depending on which anionic target you're interested in, there's a number of different applications in the environment. Things like nitrate and phosphate uh, cause a lot of pollution in waterways, so we need to monitor their presence and also remove them from the water. That has environmental benefit. In industry, things like sulphate are highly prevalent and uh, they're present in mining waste and sulphate is present in nuclear waste. So if we could remove sulphate ions from nuclear waste, then that would mean that we could turn nuclear waste into a safer solid waste form uh, much more easily than we can at the moment. And in biology and medicine, anions are present everywhere. DNA is essentially one big anionic molecule but things like chloride ions and bicarbonate ions are also present and if we can monitor their concentrations or move them from one part of a biological system to another, so in a cell for example, uh, then that has applications in diagnosis and in treatment of disease. Um, That's why anions are so cool. <laughs>